Welcome everyone. Today we're going to talk about the difference between plants and animals. And I have a story called Plant or Animal. Written, written by Judith Holloway and Clive Harper and illustrated by Sandy Colthart. And illustrated by Sandy Colthart. Some living things are plants. Most plants can't move about. Most plants have roots which hold them in the ground. Some living things are animals. Animals can move about. Some plants are so tiny we can see them only through a microscope. Here you can see a picture of algae and this is what it would look like under a microscope. Some animals are so tiny we can see them only through a microscope and you can see the amoeba right under here enlarged many times. Let's play a little game. Is a dog an animal? Give me a thumbs up if you say yes or a thumbs down if you say no. How about a bird? Is a bird an animal? Is a snake an animal? Is an insect an animal? Is a swordfish an animal? Is a crawdad an animal? Are ants animals? Are mushrooms animals? Are mushrooms plants? Is lettuce a plant? Is carrot a plant? Are flowers plants? Is a cactus a plant? All right, are you ready to do a plant versus animal sort? Let's go. So let's do this sorting activity together. And you can do a plant versus animal sorting activity either with objects you find around the house or outside, or you can do this with the activity that I included in your packet. So let's take a look. I have a bobcat. Is that a plant or is that an animal? That's right, a bobcat moves around and can eat and breathes. It's an animal. What about this? These are beans. That's right, it's a plant, right? It makes its own food using the sunlight in a process called photosynthesis. Let's see what else we've got here. What about these? Do you know what these are? These are artichokes. Do you like eating artichokes? I love artichokes. So would artichokes be an animal or a plant? Definitely a plant. Artichokes grow on plants. What about a beaver? Yes, it's an animal, right? It moves around with its legs. It breathes using its lungs. What about a saguaro cactus? Plant or animal, what do you think? Plant. What do you notice so far the plants have in common? Yeah, these plants all happen to be green, don't they? How about a turtle? 
Yes, it's definitely an animal. It's a reptile, isn't it? Now, I happen to be using North American animals since we are talking about North America and the animals that live in North America this month. How about this daffodil? Yes, it's a plant. And what about this flower called a bird of paradise? Yes, it's also a plant. Ooh, I just saw one of these in the desert when we were camping. Anybody know what that is? That's a scorpion. Is that a plant or an animal? Yes, it is an animal. Yum, I love this. Who loves to eat broccoli? Is broccoli a plant or an animal? It's a plant. It grows on a plant. We're actually growing some in our garden. What about this? They come around our yard. Is a raccoon a plant or an animal? Yeah, it's got a, it's an, it's an animal. It's got to find its own food. It moves around, it breathes, it has hair, fur, right? Now, not all animals do, but some of the animals that we have here have fur. And what about this tree? What do you think a tree is? Yes, it's a plant. So both plants and animals are alive but they are in different categories. And within animals, we have mammals, we have reptiles, we have insects, we have amphibians. Those are all considered animals. What about a rose? A rose is a flower, so it's a plant. And we can find all of our little flowers here, right? Got a little all our little plants all our flowers are plants ooh how about this reptile yes a snake definitely an animal and we have another reptile here right yeah that's a lizard that's also an animal it's a reptile and birds are also part of the animal kingdom, right? So that's a roadrunner that lives in the desert. So now you have your sort, all the plants and all the animals. And again, you can either do this with objects around your house or outside, or you can cut pictures out of magazines and sort them by plants or animals, or you can use the activity in your activity packet this week to do this sort. Thank you for watching. Remember to like this video and subscribe to support our channel.